Okay, welcome back to Into the Breach, a game where, a small tactical game where uh, you control a squad of time traveling mech, uh, we mech suit wearing uh, combat people going back in time to fight off an uh, invasion of some kind of aliens called the Vex. So, last time we defeated the Vex on this island in the northwest and this island in the southwest and that unlocked the last stand the final mission now it seems each of those had five or so missions in them seems odd to me that there's a final mission already available um, but I'm not gonna do it yet I'm gonna go on to clinical robotics island I believe there's there's a meta game. There's additional uh, squads you can unlock. I believe just beating these five islands is not the entirety of the game, but we'll find out. So we're gonna go to Pinnacle Robotics Corporation owns this island. They're fighting a war on two fronts: one against the Vec, the other against its own sentient weapons. A uh, frozen environment. The humans employed at Pinnacle are just as important as ascension machines. We must stop the Vec to save all life. Right. So Corporate HQ is clear. Right now we can go and try and defeat the Vec in secondary cooling. Where we uh, get bonuses for killing seven enemies or protecting the emergency batteries. Or in AI training, which has defensive shields and a single objective protect the cold line. I'm actually gonna go for AI training because I'm interested in unlocking these areas over here. If I go to secondary cool he's only gonna unlock that little corner. The stars is is reputation reward which you can spend on buying new equipment, uh, new weapons, upgrading your mechs, or if your power grid uh, is hurt you can use that to recover your power grid. Uh, Power grid goes down by one every time the enemies destroy a single building. And it's only seven. And if it gets to zero, that's game over. You lose, as it says in capital letters. So, inevitably, you know, we make mistakes and the power grid goes down, and then these little power rewards will up, push it back up again, which is good. If it's already full, when we, if we unlock one of these rewards, then our grid defense goes up a little. Uh, right now it's plus two, the overpower bonus. So that's the chance for enemy buildings to resist an attack. And this is a power core, although it looks like a Pokeball, I guess. Uh, but that is power cores upgrade your max, and I want my max to get better, so I'm interested in heading down here. So I'm going to go tackle AI training. I calculate there are still 373 cryo mines in this area intended for pacification of hostile machines. Keep your senses on high. Let's do it. Alright, we have enemies. We have a Hornet. Does one damage and stings an adjacent tile. We have an Alpha Scorpion. Uh, scorpions immobilize the target with a web and then we'll start it next turn. This does damage a three. Now he's got five hit points. An Alpha Firefly. Uh, fireflies launch a long-range projectile. Also three damage. This is this damage level is getting higher, which is going to make it harder for my mechs, who do not have that much health right now. Uh, ordinary scorpion does damage one. Uh, I've never seen this before. This is a digger. Digging tusks create a defensive rock wall before attacking adjacent tiles. So it attacks all around it, uh, and with a rock wall in front of it to presumably protect itself from attacks. And I have Fist of Doom, who is good at punching things. We have a uh, very constrained deployment here. We don't want to step onto the mines, but we probably want the enemies to step onto the mines. Um, so... We must defend this coal plant here. Which is shielded, which is good. 
Mr. Doom is going to have to go around and punch the stand next to the him, so he's going to deploy here. Both barrels is a... Uh, oh, I forget the name. But it's got a big cannon that can actually shoot through things, so sitting up the back here, being able to move up along here and shoot through things is probably going to be useful. And Kaboom is an artillery, which is long range and shoot fires over things, so also the obstacles are not obstacles for it. So we'll start there. Five turns before the uh, before the aliens retreat. This unit is frozen. It cannot move or attack and will remain frozen until it takes damage. That's interesting. That lets us deal with it in our own time. And that... Oh! Great, the Alpha Scorpion has also become frozen. Although it's going to get unfrozen. Uh, because this will damage. Oh, this won't damage around it. I'll uh, destroy the ice. So, they're fine, they're not a problem. We're immobilized here and without punching mech. And Alpha Firefly is going to destroy this building, <coughs> which will do one grid damage, which we don't want. The digger is um, going to destroy tiles around it, and it will free up the Alpha Scorpion. I would kind of like to keep the Alpha Scorpion frozen if I could. And the next time we're going to have two more enemies coming up here. We need to stop the Firefly somehow. We need to preferably not take damage here. I could just punch him, but uh, it's you know not the world's most effective strategy, but it will work. And I kind of want to deal with the digger. Now the problem is, artillery can only fire in straight lines to tiles that aren't adjacent to it. So I can't use my artillery to attack this. And even if it does right now, my artillery only does one damage. My cannon does two damage and phases through things, so I could, like if that was not a mine, I could move up here. I could actually move to there and shoot that and destroy it. That's an interesting idea. I think I'm going to do that. Oh. No, it phases through objects. It should. Will it phase through this protected rock wall? I hope so. Maybe not. Let's find out. Yes, it will. That's fine by me. Let's do it. Good work, Gary Lee. Now. I can't do much about that scorpion, except punch it, so let's punch it. Punching it will push it to here, which is... Kind of ineffective, but, you know, it'll do two damage. And I will not take damage, because it will now attack the tile adjacent to it. And Lauren... We want Lauren to... Do something about that Alpha, fire, alpha Firefly. And what I'm going to, what I would like to do, uh, Laura's artillery, when it fires, hits hits a spot, and if there's any objects on the adjacent tiles, it pushes them outwards. It only does damage to the spot it hits. Ideally, I'd be able to push this firefly down to this tile, then the firefly would attack the scorpion for us and kill it. You know, problem solved. To do that, I'd need to be in either this line to fire on that line, or this line, and I can't get up there. So instead I'm going to have to fire on this tile, I think. That's bad. That's not good. If I fire on this tile, Firefly is pushed out of the way, and will attack that mountain harmlessly. But my the Scorpion will be pushed back to where I punched it from, and attack Fist of Doom for one damage, which I don't like so much. I'm not such a fan of that. But it's one damage, I can, I can deal with it. And I don't think we've got any better options just now. So that's what I'm going to do. Protect the buildings. The buildings are what we're here to protect after all. The mechs are repairable. At the worst, they're disposable. 
So we're gonna take one hit point. We've got five. We can we can deal with that. And the rest of the attacks, well, two of them aren't gonna attack at all, and the five flies gonna hit the man. Ouch. Sorry, man. Three more turns. So we have another Firefly, another Alpha Firefly. Neither of them are attacking because neither of them can find the target. That's interesting news. So... And we have this fellow to deal with. I'm gonna try and deal with these other fireflies if I can. Right now they're gonna attack all the way down this column, they're gonna hit my mech and my artillery, but we can move out of the way, that's not a problem. The problem is, where do we move to and what do we do? I could actually freeze that alpha firefly if my artillery fires here to push it onto the mine. That would be fun. And might well be worth doing. I don't need to kill these back, I just need to protect things for three more turns. But if I what do I do about what do I do with Fist of Doom? It should be punching someone in the face. We could punch that and kill it, but it's kind of pointless. The only place we can punch this one from is where we're already standing, which just puts us in danger, so I don't like that plan. But we do need to just do need to do something about that. And what is Eroly gonna do? So, we could all come up and sit up in this column, which is a really bad idea. Uh, Early, okay, Early can get around here, and from there can shoot the scorpion that's worth building. So, that's probably the cleanest way to get rid of the scorpion. Right now, I'm in the way, but that should work. I'll undo the move, but I'll, I'll assume that's going to work. Fist of Doom doesn't really have anything to do so I think I'm just gonna move Kyle into a better position to attack next turn. Because there's nothing you can get to punch unless he stands in the way of the attack. He won't kill it, he'll do two damage. And then he'll take three, which taking three is a bad idea. So I'm just gonna move move Kyle there. I'm gonna move Lauren up here. And fire here to push the second alpha fire flight onto the freeze mine. Frozen. Now that alpha fire flight is not going to trouble us. And Erily is going to drive past the mines, which thankfully doesn't set them off. Why does that not. It's supposed to face through objects. Why does it not? Only hit that mountain. Oh, that's bad. That's not what I thought we'd do at all. Um, well, we should that, but all the good it does, that means one building's gonna get hit, and I can't stop it. Or I can shoot the mountain. I should probably flatten the mountain, but again, it doesn't help us at all. Hmm. Gives us more room to maneuver, which is nice, but, you know, no, it's not essential right now. Yeah. Okay. This of Doom has an axe available, but can't actually attack anything except the mine, which is where I want to attack, so. 
Oh no, my turn. Let's see what the aliens do. The Vex. The Vex. 113 casualties. So here we have a crab, a new, a new unit I have not seen before. Launches an artillery attack on two tiles. That sounds like fun. Uh, aiming for my artillery and the tile before it. And he does only one damage, so that's okay. This firefly is deciding to free this uh, alpha. Uh, what's it called? Alpha scorpion. Which I'm not so keen on, but doesn't trouble us particularly this turn. Kyle is tied up and can't move. And is about to be attacked by two enemies. We can kill the scorpion easily enough, that's no problem. Can we do anything useful about the Alpha Firefly? Or maybe once again just shove it off this way. Actually, that's an idea. If I artillery here, the firefly will be shunted here and attack me harmlessly. The scorpion will be pushed out of the way, and Carl will be free to move and punch anything. And the crab will be pushed here, which means it'll be attacking these two tiles. It'll be attacking its friend and this building, but this building is shielded, so taking one damage will not dis will not actually destroy it. So that's. You know, we could we could accept that. Crab has three hit points. That means I could just use my cannon on this firefly and stop it freeing the alpha scorpion. I don't like scorpions. They the immobilizing is really annoying, and I'd rather just have the alpha scorpion stay, you know, locked up here. I'm gonna do whatever I do. I'm not gonna destroy that because that's. You know, a nice convenient uh, blockage that the enemies put in their own way, uh, and I'm quite happy about that. So, Lauren Fires are there, does no damage, but punts everyone all over the shop. Okay, so far, so good. Go and punch the crab, which would do two damage and push it here. That's no good uh, because then it would be attacking our friend up here, eerily. Although it wouldn't damage building, it wouldn't free up this enemy. But I'm not keen on the idea. I'd rather just try and punch this alpha firefly to death or get the scorpion out of the way. Actually, I think get the scorpion out of the way. Fireflies, we can move around. Scorpions really stop us taking action. So let's let's destroy the things we can destroy. One down. Two down. And that's our turn. Two more turns before they run away. Sorry, Mountain. Enemy freed up. That's okay. <laughs> so straight into another mine. That's that's fine. Okay. So the crab is looking to free another alpha firefly and attack us, and they're looking to attack. This is this is interesting. Unfortunately, so the attack order is there. Unfortunately, the alpha firefly is going to attack first. Now, if I move Kyle out of the way. Alpha Firefly will then attack the frozen enemy. Normally does three damage. But that means I think it will do. Will it do two damage to the tile to the unit underneath? Or none? I'm not sure if all the damage gets taken by the ice. I've never seen those freeze mines before, so we'll have to find out. And then the crab will attack. So between the two of them, if I get out of the way, they're going to hurt their own unit there. 
Which is fine, that's nice and fun. Alternatively, I could just punch it onto the freeze mine and be done with it, you know, problem solved. Um, killing them is better for XP and leveling up. Uh, these two units still got room to level up. Kyle's at max level. But leveling up is not the primary goal here. Alternatively, I could just shoot the crab and then it's just going to harmlessly attack these two tiles. Which is probably better. Let's... let's... Let's punch them onto the mine. And let's shoot the crab. Uh, sorry about the fire, like the forest fire there. Yeah, we might as well destroy the crab since we can. Done. Victory! The vet. Well, they're frozen, so they can't flee, but if they weren't frozen, they would be running away. Leave everything the cryo mines froze to my cleanup droids. I will devote the processing time to ensure they are safely disposed of. Fortunately, we didn't protect all the civilians. One building got hit. Uh, we got we protected the coal plants. We got our power back that we lost, and we got some extra XP for these two. And that's unlocked two more regions: the tundra. Bonus objectives: kill at least seven enemies and protect the power generator. Now, if we can have a look at what it looks like. Got a little bit of water, lots of ice. Ice will turn to water after a couple of attacks if it gets hit a couple of times. Uh, most enemies can't can't deal with water. Oh wait, hostile machines. These are comp these aren't these aren't the bad. Are these new 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 enemy types. That's interesting. And subset range, high threat detector, defend both robot factories and protect the defense lab. These factories are manufacturing hostile machines, but there are hundreds of innocent lives, with, with lives within. Please defend them while we try to shut them down safely. So these new enemy t well that's got a vector there as well. But Hmm, interesting. Lots of room to move for us and the enemies. And that this that will start with five enemies on the map. I'm tempted to do the tundra first to try and find out what these enemies are like in an area where we can push them into the water perhaps. If one of them even starts off frozen. Also, we come back to the secondary cooling. Um, let's find out what these enemies are like before we try and tackle the more valuable objectives in the high threat area. So we'll go to the tundra. So, bonus objective, kill at least seven enemies. That's tough because we don't do that much damage, but we can try and protect the power generator, which is, of course, right on the side where all the enemies are. That's a laser bot, which does what? Has a laser beam that shoots piercing beam damage reduced by range. So it does two damage next to itself, adjacent one damage further away and passes through multiple enemies. That's interesting. It's only got one hit point, so it's easy to destroy. Cannonbot. Projectile that causes attack to burn and does one damage. Burning's not so fun. Take damage every turn. And an Alpha Scorpion and an Alpha Firefly. So these are these are bigger threats. So I guess the first order of business is trying to deploy our Fist of Doom somewhere where he has a chance of punching enemies, which means probably there. A cannon... I kind of like the idea of having him up here so he can push things sideways. 
but that might not be sensible. I don't know where the enemy's going to go, but I'm going to try it. And could be the mountain artillery is going to come up, up back here, so there's room to move around and shoot downrange at, at the baddies. Let's try that. Time pod incoming. Time pods have loot. <laughs> Just think, every pod likely needs a timeline die. That's interesting. Alright, so what's happening? The Scorpion and the Firefly are both trying to attack the power generator, which we must uh, protect. Okay. The laser bot is attacking down this line, and the cannon bot is trying to attack by punching. By punching, dude. We can walk through the water, so that's you know that's fine. I actually forgot that when I placed it here, otherwise I'd probably put it in there. Uh, so I could punch. I could come here and punch the uh, firefly. Yeah, Scorpion. I could put, go here and punch him, but that will punch him into the building and do damage to the building, which kind of defeats the point. Um, I could... Come down here and shoot the laser bot. So it's going to shoot harmlessly. Actually, I should create more water, but that's fine. The cannonball is going to hit the ice, which is no problem if we're not there. He's only hitting the tile next to him. He would melt it, apparently. And... Oh yeah, because I'll take one damage from him and one from now. So... Laser bot needs to move. I'm kind of inclined to put artillery on this tile here. Because I'll push the Firefly out of the way and to attack harmlessly down the downrange there, and if I punch the Scorpion onto that tile first, he'll take damage from the punch. He will take damage next turn when an enemy tries to emerge and can't, and our artillery will also damage him, so that'll be four hit points if you're almost dead, which is sounds like a good idea to me. So I'm gonna do that. Punch him first. Now, as it is, it'd actually do three damage to the Firefly, but the Firefly will destroy the uh, power generator. He attacks before the Firefly, so if we could do two damage to the Firefly, then this is a nice setup, but I don't think we can. So I'm going to go with the plan A. And put my artillery on it. Yeah, the Firefly is disarmed. I can stop and collect the time pod, um, but right now that seems like a bad idea because the building will be destroyed if I do. So instead, we're going to destroy this bot and damage the ice and see what happens. Oh, he was aiming next to him. Did he change his aim? Oh dear. Oh dear. So, we lost a building that I was not expecting. Cannonbot is... Oh, it's a projectile! I thought it was like a artillery, so... Yeah, but getting out of the way, we just made it hit the building instead of us. Alright, alright. Um, it's a cannon bot. Of course it's a projectile, like my cannon. So, we don't want to stay here, but we're happy to move, that's fine. That's pretty good, the Alpha Scorpion took damage, so he's almost dead, so we can just punch him to death. We have a new Hornet, but it's take got two hit points, so if I shoot it from the Time Pod with the cannon, then it'll be dead as well. Which is kind of a fun idea. Now, the Hornet flies, so we can't knock it into the water, that's fine. We can use our artillery to destroy the cannonball as well. 
So let's pick up this time pod with early. And we'll find out what's in it at the end of the mission if we're successful. Now, if I shoot there, that will do one damage to me. Even though the enemy's dead, it will push it off me. That's... Well, it can't be helped, you know, there's casualties in war. And it's dead now. And... Kyle... can punch this Alpha Scorpion to death. It's problem solved. Lauren can come up here, not to tank the attack, but to destroy the bot, since it's not adjacent. Done. Harmless attack. Oh dear. Armored unit. This unit is armored. All incoming weapon damage will be reduced by one. All other damage is unaffected. Now that's got to be the new enemy that's causing that. So we have a shell scion, which I've not seen before. Scions give passive bonuses to their friends. Uh, they can fly, so you can't punch, push them in the water. Passive effect, all other Vec have armor, basically. Like incoming weapon damage reduced by one. Make them hard to kill. I can punch it to kill it and get rid of that bonus, that's fine. We've got an Alpha Hornet, which does two damage to two tiles in front of it. And that's kind of a nuisance. I'm thinking my artillery is going to have to push the horn out of the way. My so Lauren pushed the horn out of the way so it doesn't destroy the building. Then Aerily can move back down here, shoot this out off a fire fly, do some damage to it, and stop destroying the building. And again, it'll just fire harmlessly down the column. I'll punch the Scion get rid of it first so that the other things can do damage but we can't kill the alpha one we can just push it out of the way without damaging it I need to upgrade my artillery but I need better weapons for that so first things first let's get rid of this bonus they're all giving then early destroy well hurt and push the flyby out of the way And Lauren doesn't even have to move. Oh, there's probably no point moving. Um, push it back to the mountains or push it back towards us? I really don't know. Let's push it back to the mountains. That means it's... No, let's push it towards us. It's probably going to move further to attack anything interesting. And it'll create another ice tile. Yeah, whatever. Oops, and they set the forest on fire. And it's damaging stuff. Last turn. Alright. So this alpha fly, we, alpha fly flag we, we can ignore as long as we get out of the way. This digger we can ignore, he's going to free up the enemy robot, but, and honestly, I don't care about any of what's happening there. We do need to do something about this firefly, and I can't shoot him anymore, because there's too much stuff in the way. I could only shoot that fella. If I shoot that one, it will destroy the block here, which means Carl could get down on a punch, so that actually might be worth doing. And again, this this alpha firefly is being a nuisance, but as long as we push it to one side, it'll be fine. So let's give let's give Kyle. He can't come down here and punch from this side because he can't move far enough. Unfortunately, if he could, he would do two damage from the punch and one from it hitting in there and kill it, which would be ideal. But I don't think that's going to happen. So we've got to concentrate on neutralizing instead of destroying. 
So, early with the both barrels is gonna destroy this uh, digger. Done. Kyle is gonna punch the other fly, fly, fly out of the way. And Lauren is gonna move out of the way and just shot that alpha pipe out of the way. Well, we're not gonna kill at least seven enemies, apparently. Wonder if there's a way we could have done that better. Hmm. Lauren could have killed this. Up the five light. I'm going to try that turn again, see if there's another way we can to get an extra kill. If we can get one more kill, we get the bonus objective, which I would like. So we'll see what happens, see if we can do that. We can only reset a single turn in a single battle. Only one. But since this is the last turn, it seems like it's worth doing. So what would happen if Lauren moves up here and attacks the Firefly? That will clear the way for Kyle to come and punch. Just the same, because it would push the uh, blockage that the Digger's created out of the way, back into the Digger in fact. Not that that matters. And it would do one damage to the Firefly, which means the punch will then kill it. That's under the move. Kyle could come down here and punch it and kill it. Um, and Lauren could still shoot the digger and destroy that. Now the downside to that means this alpha hornet up here will hit the building for two damage and will probably destroy it. Now we are kind of here to defend, defeat, to defend the humans, the civilians in these buildings, so. Really, I should uh, not do that. You know, really, I should actually defend what I was supposed to defend. But getting an extra reputation could be quite useful at the uh, at the end of the mission. And you know, if the worst comes to the worst, we can always spend that reputation to get the power back. And there's a 20% chance anyway that the attack will be resisted. That's not great, but I'm going to be greedy rather than safe here and and try and get that bonus objective. Done. Seven enemies dead, power generators protected. Sorry, civilians. Casualties happening in war. And it resisted. Excellent. I was could only hope for that. Mission complete. We got our reputation, we got our power boost. We lost that first building because the uh, laser bot. Sorry, the cannon bot did not behave the way I misunderstood it to be to behave. Um, but you and the Rift Walkers have driven back to Beck. We are updating our chances of success based on this battle. And we got the time pod. So let's see what's in it. It has a ranged weapon. Raining death. A dangerous projectile that damages everything it passes. Uh does two damage on the tile hits and one on everything along the way, but does one self damage as well. Uh, but it's cheap to run, it only takes one power. Interesting. And it can be upgraded for massive, massive power and to make buildings immune. I wonder if the plus one damage each upgrade also counts as self damage. Probably does. And we got a reactor core for mech upgrades, that's awesome. And we unlocked frozen planes. Let's have a look. Uh, kill all enemies before they retreat and protect the coal plant. When I lost control of my environmental processes, hundreds of Vecca machines alike were frozen solid. As the island comes back online, these fresh dangers are being freed. However, oh, is that they're all frozen and we just have to kill them all, perhaps? Interesting. 
I wonder if none spawn on that. That's still seven enemies to kill, which is a lot. But I think I want to try this up to range. But before we do that, let's look at upgrades. So. Ranged. No, that's brute. That's ranged. So we have a new weapon. Oh, we have a repair drop weapon for any class. Forget about that. Heal all players, including disabled mechs. One use per battle. And takes no power, I believe, yeah. So that could be good to give to uh, one of our crew. Raining Death would need power and would do self damage. Now we've got four health, so we could actually fire it three times. It does more damage than an artillery shot. Wait, that's two, and it damages everything along the way. So, not so good for going through buildings, very good for going through other enemies. But it needs power. Uh, we do have. Oh, we've got three cores. I didn't realize. So there's actually a power upgrade we can do, right. Both barrels has, well, the Taurus Cannon was what we started with. Um, and we've got the Phase Cannon, which we've upgraded already. So there you've got three power cores. Now we could get more health early, which could be good. She tends to get in the way of danger sometimes. We could get more movement for Kyle, which is also good, because right now being able to move further means you can punch more effectively. Uh, we can't really afford to spend all our cores on upgrading the punch damage, I think. Or even getting dash right now. Maybe. But why not take the repair drop to heal all all our units? If we take yourself damage, that's gonna be even better. And we can bring that weapon on the line. We can even upgrade its damage. Hmm. They've got three cores in them each. He's only got one, so. So the Raining Death doesn't actually push anything, which is different from normal artillery. I have two more cores. I could increase his damage or make it immune to buildings, which would. Making it buildings immune would be a huge improvement. Because I tend to keep my ass a little behind buildings. That would make it much more tactically useful and give us much better damage options. Then I can't upgrade Kyle's movement. Which I would like to do. Or even Aerolee's health. I could always depower. If I depower the ordinary artillery, whoops. Then I can power ring death. Make buildings immune. Install two cores. That means we won't be pushing things with our artillery, we'll have to kill things. Interesting variation. But that would give us one free core to give Kyle more movement, which I think is worthwhile. Let's let's alternatively plus plus one damage each, which does include the self damage. Um, yeah, we're not doing that yet. We don't have enough health for that. Well, we can test this out. Let's test this quickly. So... Oh, they're all lined up in a row, but we can go there. Fire. Bang. The self damage... Oh, self damage can catch fire as well. Interesting. But yeah, things like this look nice. Alright, done testing. I just think pushing artillery to push enemies out of the way is 
enormously useful for defending buildings, so I really kind of want to keep that ability. Which means not buildings won't be immune from raining death. That's fine, we can keep it situational. Keep it situational. Kyle will get his movement upgrade. I'm not even sure we need to give him extra health. He's got lots. Uh, although, you know, he can tank better. Instead, we can give Hairly extra health. Or extra movement, extra health. Better for tanking. Let's do it. Let's go to the Sub-Zero range. These factories are manufacturing hostile machines, but there are hundreds of innocent lives within. Please defend them while we try to shut them down safely. High threat detected. Uh, one extra alphabet will be present when the mission starts. Oh, is that all high threat means? That's okay. Higher threat. Defend both rebel factories to get two rep and protect the defense lab to get another reactor core. Let's see if we can do that. So that, these are the robot factories here and here, and my deployment icons going the way. What do we have? We have Hornet, an Alpha Crab, uh, launches a three damage artillery attack on two tiles. That's with five hit points. That's tough. Plus everything right now is is hardened, which is bad. We have a shell sign, which we want to destroy as soon as possible because it is helping everyone else resist damage. Alpha Firefly and an Alpha Digger. Oh, they're almost all alphas. Uh, the Alpha Digger does two damage. For some reason, this animation is not showing its defensive rock walls, but it does two damage to all four tiles around it. So we want to be up here to go up and punch that Sargon in the face, if nothing else. Uh. We want some freedom of movement for Lauren and Cannon. Sorry, Aerily and Cannon. And artillery sit back as usual. Let's try that. What is that? Uh, we have to defend these robot factories. The robot factories are spawning cannon bots. At least it's not attacking this turn. So that's annoying. Alpha Crab is going to try and attack that factory, so we need to do something about it. Hornet is trying to attack the factory, so we need to do something about it. Oh dear. And he's going to attack buildings, so we need to do something about it. This is frustrating. Well, if we can focus. And I'm going to take reduced damage right now because of the Scion. Now, I'm not sure I want to punch the Scion. It will kill it and help us damage everything else, but we have three attacks we need to uh, deal with. And that's really not going to help us deal with all three. I don't really know how I can move the Digger. I can't artillery the building to push it out of the way, because, well, I could. We would do one damage to it, uh, which is not great. <laughs> but better than two damage it's going to do, maybe. Seems unlikely. I could artillery this spot here, after moving my, uh, after moving Kyle out of the way. That'll push the, the crab here, there, so its attacks would be on these two tiles, so the rubber factory would not be attacked by it. It would push 
sorry on onto here to take one damage next turn. But neither of them will be killed. And early you can kill this uh, hornet. No trouble at all. Alternatively, maybe we could try a new weapon, right? We could move here. Try a new weapon. Hooray! Let's let's. Why does it say zero damage to the crab? Oh, because it was just set the forest on fire. It was set it on fire. I'm only. Why only one? Oh, because of the armor. The armor stops from taking damage. Well, at the risk of one damage, if we get rid of the Scion first, at the risk of one damage to a building, we would hurt Crab for one. No, it still destroys Rocket Factory. That's no good. I am daydreaming. I can't. I can't. I can stay here and punch it, and then I'll take damage if I artillery the spot to move these people. Hmm. But if I don't punch it, I can't kill this. But I can make it hit the robot and deal with our robot problem. What is Kyle going to do? Stay here and be hit by artillery? Move somewhere and be useless? I don't know. Do the robots attack the Beck as well? Who knows? They might, they might just be attacking everything in sight. Well, I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna punch. Everyone's lost their armor, and I'm gonna shoot. Sorry, Kyle. Oh wait. I shoot that. Yeah, I've got, I've got to push out of the way just to stop destroying the robot factory. It's not brilliant, but oh dear, Kyle's on fire. Not good. Uh, bang. Well, this attack is still going to happen. This is possibly not the best approach, but we'll do it. Two hundred five casualties lost. Two power lost. Yeah, more robots. Okay. Digger's not destroying anything I care about. Kyle is kind of wounded right now. The crab is threatening. I can do. Oh, there's an artillery bot. Uh, I could go and punch the crab into the mountain, which would do three damage to it, but it would not move it out of the way. I could then artillery it for one damage, which also would not move it out of the way. I can't actually get to a spot. I couldn't hit it with... Uh, Airily, because Airily gets this five line away. If Airily comes up here, she'll hit the five line, not the crab. So how do I, how do I defuse this crab? I can artillery it. It's attacking these two tiles. If I artillery this mountain, it'll only be attacking one building in the mountain. But you know, 
That's not ideal. But artillery there. Kill that robot. He gets pushed meaninglessly. He gets pushed into the mountain for one damage. Okay. One plus two is three. One plus three is four, so it would still not be dead, even if I punch it. I don't know what I'm going to do. Can I focus all my fire on it? No, because it really cannot attack the crab. If I could come up here and use my brand new super attack and do one, 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 two, and then punch it and it would be dead, but then we're doing damage to each of these, and that's a bit silly. If I had the building immunity, maybe I should have gone for the building immunity, but, you know, if I had gone for building immunity, I couldn't walk up here to punch it. And... Turn on these repair as well. Things are not looking great right now. If, oh, if Lauren moves, then this robot's going to attack that building. So maybe Emily needs to destroy the cannonball. Which means moving there to shoot it so it moves onto that tile after Lauren has moved. Lauren can artillery this tile and push the crab out of the way. It's not good, but it does at least save the rubber building, even if this one's going to get attacked. We'll have a, you know, still a 20% chance to resist. Uh, that's the wrong move. Oh, that's right. Right, robot factory is not being attacked. Building is not being attacked. Yes, they say to so kill it. Kyle can move and heal, or he can move. He can move here. Punch the scorpion into the artillery bot, destroying both. You know, I'm gonna. Take that risk. We take damage next turn. So next turn, it's getting close to needing to needing repair. We'll see what happens. Dig it's harmless. That's not quite harmless. 123 casualties lost. And the firefly comes. And we have another firefly, but not an alpha. Oh dear. And a new robot. And two new vet. So, this digger is again threatening the robot factory. The crab is not threatening the robot factory, so the crab. Maybe we can ignore. Can we kill the digger? Emily can shoot it for two. Lauren can shoot it for one. Kyle can't actually punch it. And again. No, we're good for. Uh, we're not killing the line, the lines of attack on to uh, enemies for our new rain death weapon. We should have really have gone for that uh, building immunity because it's quite useless without. Would have been quite useful with. How do I defeat this digger? I can't push it because its, it's walls stop it moving. It'll take damage when I push it, but only one. And it'll destroy the wall. Um, so, 
So, for example, if I apply the artillery here, it'll destroy that wall, it'll push them him into that wall, and he'll take one damage. And that wall will be destroyed as well. That's not great, because then I can't. Kyle got there and punch it, but only does two damage. But it'll do two damage and protect the robot building. Hmm. Or it'll really shoot from here and do the same. Kyle needs to move and probably needs to repair or use the repair pod. I can't really use Rain Death, or I would before I use the repair pod. Let's focus fire on the digger. Kyle can come and push the crab out of the way and save a building. Or can go somewhere safe and repair. Two turns. That's, I think, this turn and next turn. Which means. I'm gonna have two more back next turn. This is gonna get hard. This is gonna get tough. Do I punch? It won't kill it. I can't kill any of them. But it would save a building. We're down three power down. I think we save a building. Even if it's risking Kyle. Ouch. Dig is harmless. Crab is harmless. Firefly is harmless. New robot activated, new enemies. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god no. So the digger is threatening the factory. The crab is threatening the factory. The Hornet's threatening two buildings. It's only an ordinary Hornet, so it only does one damage. So it's only kind of threatening one of the two, really. And Scorpion is threatening factory. So... We need to get that Scorpion out of there. Uh, thankfully the robot's not attacking. Uh, these two are not going to hurt anything we care about. Particularly. Oh, Alpha Firefly is firing this way. Uh, ordinary Firefly. Yeah, only one damage. Might be useful. Alpha Firefly is flying this way. Firing this way for three damage. Who fire, Who attacks first? Crab before the Firefly. That's unfortunate. If it was the other way around, then the Firefly could kill the Crab for us. Uh, which would be so lovely. Oh, one more damage on the digger and it will die. So if I artillery through this mountain, it'll push that digger into that mountain. Uh, or something of that sort. Or... Yeah, just anything but this, these two. Artillery either one of those. It'll push the digger into the opposing mountain and kill it. That's, that's good. That's... Lauren can take care of the digger. Um, Kyle could punch the crab, but would take damage himself and die. He would be dead. The mech would survive. Well, the mech would be deactivated for this battle, but it would survive for the next battle. It would just be AI piloted. It would lose. Kyle will be dead, he would lose our plus 3 grid defense and the plus 2 HP on the mech. 
and we'd have to try and find another pilot sometime. And that would leave early free to try and deal with this scorpion. I don't see how early he's going to be able to do that. Artillery can. Uh, air, uh, can move there, can fire through that on there. So early you can actually take care of the ticker. Lauren could come here. Artillery the Firefly, which will still attack building, but will jump the Scorpion out of the way so the robot factory stays undamaged and the defense lab stays undamaged. Oh. Oh, that laser bot is attacking. Oh, God. So we do need to deal with that laser bot. Because it's going to destroy the defense lab and get rid of our upgrade. One attack. And he can't get, he can't get in range to punch it because it's too far away. And he can't go punch the uh, digger. This is bad. Feels like I'm gonna have to s sacrifice at least one factory. Maybe that means I get one star? I don't think it does. I think it means I get none. I would get the reactor, the upgrade. I think I'm gonna have to make a choice. Do I want to defend the factories or do I want to defend the defense lab? Can I defend the factories? Yes, defense lab is reactor core. Reactor cores cost me three rep if I want to buy them, uh, which is not great. So I probably want to prioritize the defense lab, which is okay. That's early can easily do that, or can take out Digger. But that means if the craft attack goes ahead and we lose two grid power, we're going to lose one grid power there, that's three, and he's going to lose another one, that's four. We're going to lose four grid power, we will we will be dead, we will lose. That's not good either. Only that Alpha Firefly at number four would have attacked you before the crowd at number three. But it's not. Oh, let's say Kyle moves out of the way. Kyle moves out of the way. Lauren moves up here and attacks this tile. Then the Alpha Crab, which does three damage, gets shunted here. The Alpha Crab attacks after the Digger. So the Digger still gets to attack off. I thought that would be a nice way to get rid of the Digger, but no, that doesn't get rid of the Digger. And Kyle can't even punch anything useful. And Raining Death, you know, could kill the digger and attack this Alpha Firefly. Not that we need to attack that Alpha Firefly. Obviously, Carl would have to move first. This is tough. This is tough. I guess it is say extra danger. Um, and that would do nothing for the crap. Either Lauren or Airely has to deal with the robot because we want to save our mech core if we can. And one power grid.
Things just aren't working out here. Things are not working out here. Kyle's gonna burn to death, but I think we win before he does, I hope. So as long as Kyle doesn't take damage from the enemies. Oh no, fire damage happens. First, we took fire damage at the start of our turn. Does that mean we take fire damage again? Was it? Oh no, we took fire damage uh, last turn. Yeah. Kyle needs to repair. Or oh, use a heal thing, but that uses up his action anyway. God damn it. Everything is bad. Everything is bad. We're gonna lose so badly here. Right. Finally, Kyle punched that robot. One, two, three, four, movement. Even the bonus movement we got him wasn't enough. Lauren can rain a death down there, or could artillery here? No, no, this isn't gonna work out. Kyle is gonna heroically punch the crab out of the way. Crab is safe, Kyle is doomed. Lauren is going to Reign of Death, destroy the Digger, hurt the Alpha Firefly. I'm sorry, Kyle. But calling you Kyle Reese was, you know, probably foreshadowing uh, that you would not make it back alive. Or even destroy the Terminator for that matter. Just fail mostly. So we're gonna lose one building and one robot factory, unless, you know, those are only one damage attacks. There's a chance they'll be resisted, but it's not a good chance. That's, you know, maximum two power loss instead of four. We've saved the defense lab. We've Save one rubber factory. Let's see how the dice roll. <laughs> they just <laughs> wailing on Kyle's dead neck. Power lost. Power lost. Grid is critical. Down to two. Other timelines may exist for you, but this is the only one we have. Please fight for us as we would fight for you. Oh, we got we got one rep for saving one of the robot factories. Okay, I didn't realize that's how the uh, two stars worked. So, very mixed. We did protect the defense lab and Kyle died, but I couldn't see a way to save Kyle and not lose two more buildings. Sorry, Kyle. Deceased. Kyle Reese died after taking severe damage in the battle against the creatures. Okay. Well, I think that is a good place to end the stream. It's been just over an hour, and we started with pretty much full power, and now we're down to two. So we definitely need some power back, somehow. And uh, next time we will go for secondary cooling or frozen planes. Who knows which. So thank you for watching and I will be back again 
uh, at the same time tomorrow.